Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of December reading for you all. December 16th through the 31st reading for Leo. How are you all today? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. Mm, I don't want this one. I don't know why. It's calling my name. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. And it's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and Happy Holidays. Please be safe if you guys are out there traveling or doing anything. crazy that it's already almost the end of the year, right? All right, let's see what we got. Five of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess and the Eight of Cups. You're clarifying. Six of Pentacles, Five of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Hmm. Appreciation. And victory. Well, that's nice. In the near future, big happy changes. Woohoo! <laughs> that's nice. Big happy changes in the near future, you all. You see that? Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. You know, I'm kind of feeling torn. I feel like I have two different stories here. So on one hand, I feel like that there's some of you guys that are really bending over backwards for people maybe in your community, in your neighborhood, family members, friends. Maybe it's even people that you don't know. I feel like you're trying to give and you're trying to donate and maybe you're even donating your time so on one hand I feel that way and then on the other hand I feel like some of you all may be needing some sort of help, some sort of support, some sort of um, donations possibly. You may need help financially, you may need help, um, you may need food, you may need uh, you know different things right now that's going on. So I'm having two different separate visions some of you all are wanting to help and some of you all are needing the help. Either way, if you're needing the help, I feel like you're going to get it. And if you're wanting to help, I think you're going to um, feel a lot better about the holidays, about who you are as a person. So either way it goes, I feel like you're going to be feeling... Um, pretty awesome. For some of you it's going to be appreciation because you're needing these things and you're going to be getting it and I think for the others that are giving it that can afford it or even giving your time or energy I feel like that that's going to be a huge sense of um, happiness in a lot of different ways because I feel like especially I guess the way I look at it is like this Sometimes when you're growing up and you don't have a whole lot, I didn't have a whole lot, 
I'd say, I'd say there's a lot of people that didn't have a whole lot growing up. And then maybe as you get older and, and maybe you have a little extra um, money that you feel like you can help other people, when you do that, it really gives you a sense of, of happiness. It, it makes your heart happy, basically. And that's how I'm almost feeling about it. So either way, if, if you're in one, if you're in a predicament to help, I think you're going to feel w wonderful when you do. And if you're in a predicament where you need the help, I think you're going to be very, very appreciative of the people and your community or whoever it is that's given to you at this time. Because let's face it, you all, everybody needs help every once in a while. It's just the way it is. And you all know as well as I do under all of these circumstances that's going on right now, for heaven's sakes, there's a lot more people that are needing help um, than that has in the past. I was watching something on TV and they were showing all the people that were in lines at, for food banks and for food. And these people have never asked for food or never needed it before because they've always worked. But now, with everything going on, um, a lot of people are finding themselves in a pickle. So don't be ashamed to ask if you need it. And um, and it's, it's, it's just a bad situation that everybody's in right now. So make sure you realize that, okay? Now, for some of you all, even though... I know I'm feeling like you you're, you may be asking for help. I feel like you're going to be receiving. Um, and it may be these two cards put together. Let me explain why I'm feeling this way. I feel like it's almost going to be an, a package of two. Okay? So on one hand, you may need some help with food or something like that. And you may be getting it. But then be right behind it somewhere may be coming a um, financial package, if that makes sense. That's how I'm, I'm picturing these two cards. So maybe you just need a little help right now, but then in a few weeks from now or in a month from now, you may be getting some sort of a check or some sort of a, a financial gain in some way. So I want you all to um, hopefully feel better about that. In case you are in a pickle right now, I think you're about to see some sort of really good changes coming in. Big happy changes, by the way, in the near future. And then the victory. So it really makes me feel like, even though you may feel like you're in a pickle when you're listening to this, I don't think you're going to be in a pickle very much longer. And I'm happy to say that. So that's a good thing. Now I have this walking away over here. And it almost makes me feel like, um, hold on a second. Some of you all may be walking away from a, a person from your past. I'm almost feeling like that with these two cards right here. It almost makes me feel like there may be someone from your past that you're finally like, you know what, I can't do it anymore. i, I got to turn my back and I've got to move forward. Um, some of you all may be walking away from a relationship. Some of you all may be walking away from um, aggravation. And I think a lot of us are, are getting aggravated at this time with all, everything that's going on. But once you do that, you all you're going to feel a sense of relief and a sense of um, emotional happiness again. So I want you all to understand that and, and to realize something good is coming in, you all. Because for heaven's sakes, you all feel like you've been sticked and stabbed for too long. I look, I see this too with these two cards and I feel like you're playing tug of war with either this is either with people, this could be with your community, with your government, with your city possibly. You're playing tug of war and you're saying, come on, um, I just need to go back to work or I just need to make a living or whatever it is. And I just feel like that that's all going to come to a screeching halt really soon. So if you are finding yourself in a pickle, I do think that you're going to be um, financially in a better shape very, very soon. Okay, and I'm happy to say that because there's nothing worse than not being able to pay your bills or, or to go to the grocery store. So I just want you all to know that you may be um, pleasantly surprised very soon. Very, very soon. 
I also have this high priestess over here. And you know on one hand she could stand for intuition. She can also stand for dreams. Maybe you guys are going to be having some vivid dreams coming up soon. Maybe you are um, becoming a little bit more spiritual than you have in a while. Maybe you're starting to um, realize that um, spirit is helping you, guide you along. If you'll listen to your gut and your instincts and your intuition, you'll get a better answer. You'll feel better about a certain situation. You'll feel better about the choices that you make because you feel like and you know in your heart and in your mind that these are the right choices for you. These are the right decisions that you need to make. So when I get this Eight of Cups, even though sometimes it's sad, to me today it's not sad. This is something that you need to do in order to move forward. And when you do that, you're going to be like, man, alive. Why didn't I do that a long time ago? So whatever kind of situation that you guys are in, everybody's in different situations right now, um, it's really going to be a big relief when it's all said and done. So I have this Six of Cups too, almost like you're reminiscing about the past. You're thinking about when you were younger, possibly, when you were a child, maybe. Maybe you're even thinking of um, passed on loved ones that you miss, especially around the holidays. And maybe that's where this spiritual um, card kind of comes in. Maybe you're going to have some dreams that may help you get through certain situations. Sometimes you all, these dreams can be so vivid and so alive, they feel like you're there. And it's almost like sometimes now, I'm not, I'm, I can't say this for everybody, but especially if you've had a passed on loved one that you depend on or that you talk to a lot or that gives you really good advice, you may be getting that advice through a dream from that person. So remember that. If you um, have a vivid, vivid dream that feels like you're there, um, it may be because you're getting information that you may need or some kind of um, support or some kind of ideas that may come in handy for a lot of you all. So remember that, okay? And because um, honestly, sometimes when you have dreams, you can remember them when you first wake up. But as the day goes on, you're like, what was that dream about again? You know, that's what I do. I can't remember what it was about. But this type of dream that I'm talking about is going to be so vivid that you're going to remember it when you wake up. It's going to be um, a happy dream, especially if it's from a past on loved one that you've been missing or needing some sort of advice or encouragement, possibly. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. You know, you could be turning your back. Let me just say this before I rearrange. You could be turning your back on this nonsense, for heaven's sakes. This where people or situations are sticking and stabbing you to death. Where you're playing tug of war with something that um, feels like you can't win. Sometimes this is a drama card. Sometimes you're involved in it even though you're not involved in it. Does that make sense? Somebody put you involved in it even though you're an outsider and they drag you in. That kind of thing. And you're like, no, 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 no. I don't want to be involved in this. That might be what you're turning your back on too. Give me just a minute. I'm going to put this there here to go along with this because that's what I'm feeling that you all are going to say, you know what, enough is enough. You guys may be dealing with children or you may be dealing with a message or a messenger that's coming in. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to leave her there because that could be what I was just talking about with your... Um, dreams. If you all do need help, I just want to throw this out here. If you guys need, if 
food banks or anything like that, please call and get that stuff that you need right now because it's all going to get better soon, okay? I really do feel that way. I just want to make sure they're straight. Here's the thing. We've all been going through roller coasters up and down, up and down throughout this whole year. But I think some of us have been going through it a little bit more, it seems like. And sometimes you just get sticked and stabbed and sticked and stabbed and sticked and stabbed and all of a sudden you've got a ten of swords saying that you've been going through this for quite some time. And it's not just one person doing this to you, usually. It's more than one person. It's more than one situation. It could be your job. It could be your landlord. It could be um, your kids, your parents, your, your family members. It could be a combination of just about anything and everything. And you kind of got to start getting sick of it. I mean, for heaven's sakes, look at this lady. She don't even look like she's alive anymore. So here's the thing. This is coming to an end. This tug-of-war match that you may or may not even be involved in that seems to be uh, dragging, somebody seems to be dragging you into something that you don't even want to be in, in. So it's almost like this is coming to an end. You have finally realized that it's time for you to take action, and I think you're emotionally turning your back on this whole situation, which is not good for you anyway, and it's going to be a big sense of relief. I feel like a messenger or a message might come in for some of you all, and some of you all are needing help. You're needing some sort of um, financial help. You're needing food. You're needing shelter maybe at this time. You may be needing help with your electric bill or something like that too. There's something about this that makes me feel like you may be feeling like you're out in the cold, and you're isolated, and, and, and you need help from someone. Sometimes it's as simple as picking up a phone and calling your friend, calling your family, calling people that you know and love and just talking to them that will help sometimes more than anything they may even be the people that are helping you and that you appreciate so much but I do feel too with the six of Pentacles this is give and receive some of you all are able to give right now and because maybe you haven't you when when you were growing up you didn't have a whole lot so you understand what it feels like to try to help people so i feel like some of you all are giving and some of you all are receiving at this time and you appreciate what you're doing and you you it makes your heart happy when you can help people i do think that maybe you're reminiscing about something from your past whether it's from your childhood from someone that's passed on i'm i'm feeling that really strong for some of you all especially over the holidays over christmas and stuff you may miss your loved ones, of course. I feel like you may be getting some sort of a dream, some sort of information, some sort of a download, some sort of a spiritual acknowledgement that will help you more than anything. I also feel like that some of you guys, I, I'd say a lot of you all, I hope, um, are going to get some sort of financial help here in, in the near future. I think it's going to be before the end of the year, but it might be uh, the first half of January. But it's seriously going to help you tremendously. That's what these are saying. Big happy changes in the near future. There's a victory. You guys, if you're not working, you may be getting getting able to go back to work. If you need help, you're going to be getting help. If you need financial gain or financial support, you may be getting that as well. And there's a sense of appreciation like you haven't felt in quite some time. There are really good people out there that are willing to help you. And that in itself gives you this sense of hope and help and appreciation like you haven't felt in a long time. So it's a really good feeling, you all. There are big happy changes coming in the very near future. Hang in there just for a minute, okay? And realize that whatever's going on over here, you're going to turn your back on it and you're going to you're going to feel a lot better about something that's going on in your life and hopefully financially you'll be in a better in in a better predicament than you were um Maybe even now, you may be in a better predicament in about a month or so versus right now. So um, just hang in there for a minute. I think things are going to start getting a lot better. You are going to be going through big happy changes in the very near future. So hang in there, you all. It's coming, okay? All right, this is your second half of December reading, December 16th through the 31st reading for Leo. Merry Christmas, you all. Happy New Year. Uh, happy Holidays. And um, if you guys are needing help, you might be getting it very, very soon. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.